Hi, I'm Ken Krell. Speakers, authors, coaches, thought leaders come to me to discover how they can take their current position and turn it into high-powered, high-profit, transformational digital events. I can do the same for you too. You're about to watch an excerpt of one of our online events that I think you may find very powerful. After that, I'll meet you and we'll talk about it. Welcome to The Really Useful Show. I'm your host, Ken Krell, and today, I got something super special for you because my friend Laura Jack is with us. And if you are a business person, if you're a parent, if you're someone who every now and then goes through the, oh, my life sucks, this you want to pay close attention to because Laura can fix all of it for you in seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Laura Jack. How are you doing? Thank you, Ken. It's so great to be here. No pressure. I added the couple seconds thing just to kind of put it just to stress you out just a teeny little bit. And I got this. <laughs> I kind of figured you did. So, so listen, I know that you, you have this unique ability to get people to be happy. Tell me what that's about. And, 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 and then give us a tool that we can use right now to put that, put on that happy face. So, yeah, actually, it's actually about em- embracing the sorrow. I know that sounds funny, but um, my whole thing is grief before gratitude. And I have been studying and experiencing my own grief for years and teaching people how to properly grieve and feel all of their feelings as human beings. So they can actually then not just have gratitude as something that you check on a list of things that you have to do today, but actually feel it deeply inside of you. So that feels very Buddhist, at least from what <laughs> little I know about Buddhism. It's like, you've got to have all that, all that, that, and then you go through that. So what mechanism do you, do you use to put that in place. So one of the things that I've been experimenting with for years is actually learning how to feel all my feelings, because as a young person, I was told I was too much. And then as I got older, I was told I wasn't enough. And so when you're sandwiched between too much and not enough, it's kind of a confusing place to live. Been there, Um, been there. That's like, right. Right. Exactly. And I think we can, so many of us, especially people pleasing, over giving uh, high achieving perfectionists as myself and probably many of us, um, it can be really hard to know how to fully accept ourselves. And one of the fastest, easiest ways to accept ourselves is to not bully ourselves for our feelings. So practical application of this is I feel sad. It's learning how to identify our feelings. How do I feel? Not shaming ourselves for having the feeling in the first place, because it's one of the most common human experiences ever to have a feeling. It's universal, right? And then allowing ourselves to have it without blaming or shaming ourselves or letting others blame or shame us. And then it quickly dissipates because feelings are kind of like clouds. If we actually allow them to pass and we don't hold on to them because we're ignoring them and avoiding them, they actually just pass through the sky and we're back to homeostasis more or less. That's a big word. Now, now, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you 25 seconds. Balance. Seconds. How about yeah, that? Th- Balance. There you go. Now that I can understand. <laughs> um, so I, I didn't go to med school, as some of our listeners have. <laughs> um, so, so, you know, but that makes a lot of sense. And, and actually, one of the things that that I put in place when I get into my my sads, and I've had my fair share, maybe at, at some point every day. I find that for me, actually, the less sleep I have the more my emotions start to go bonkers because it's all hormonal, right? So if I go to the gym or I go grab a swim or I do something that that takes me out of today's, out of that momentary state, then it shifts a lot of stuff. So, you know- Sleep, definitely. Sleep and exercise can be incredibly helpful to help us actually figure out what's going on because sometimes the feelings feel just beyond us, right? They feel bigger than we are. And then those two things- rest and exercise can help us kind of get grounded and determine what's really going on. Yeah, Laura, I, I could spend hours with you on this subject because it's been, you know, coming to happy or getting people to happy is really my life's goal. It's like, what's my life purpose is having everyone become happier in their life. Uh, but I discovered that I got to get me first because then what that way it comes from experience. So if people want to learn more about what you do and, and get to happier more quickly, uh, <laughs> what's, what's, what's the best way to, to learn more about you? It's so funny because I thought I wanted to be a happiness consultant. I feel like it's kind of funny that that's coming full circle. Um, so they can reach out to me or it use utilize a tool that I have. Um, I actually made a little cliff notes because everybody loves the cliff notes for my book, The Compassion Code. Um, yeah. It's really kind of a tool on how to help others sneakily, but really to help yourself through helping others. Oh, I like that. So how can we get access to that? So I'll give you um, I'll give you access. I have something called the Compassion Code Starter Guide, 
uh, that I'd love to share with you. It's actually like a real simplification of everything I teach. Um, and it's like giving you actually practical tools and how to actually talk to people who are going through tough times, ourselves included in that. Um, so that we can, again, go back to that, not shaming and blaming ourselves and others thing for having feelings. Awesome. I, I'm, I'm in for that like right now. So get that to us. What we'll do is we'll stick it yeah. in the show notes. So you guys, all you can need to do is go to reallyusefulshow.com, look for the Laura Jack episode. We'll have it there for you to download. Her information will be in there if you want to get um, more happy uh, and connect with her <laughs> directly. So that we don't have to worry about finding it anywhere else. Laura Jack, I love you. We're, we're out of time, but would you come back? Absolutely. I love you too, Ken. Thanks for having me. So that's one short taste of how you can use the power of digital events to help people transform their lives and find a new way to live. Want to learn how you can put it to use in your own business? Well, stick with me for the Digital Events Essentials Plan. It's called DEEP. It'll take you through how you can plan, produce, and profit from your own online events. It's pretty great. It's pretty free. And I think you'll like it pretty much. So come join me. Click the link either in the description below or somewhere on this video itself. And we'll take you over there. It's completely free. I think you're going to love it. And it will give you the plan you need to plan, produce, and profit from your own digital events.